Hey Dr. Lowell, this is Jonathan. And for my video research project for this chapter, I'm doing data breaches of two major corporations. So as you know, most corporations have tons and tons of firewall security. You know, two, I mean, Pacific itself uses two-factor authentication, which is super, super solid. But even still, it doesn't take much if you're, you know, dealing with someone who's a little less tech uh, fluent to get compromised. So all it takes is an individual, typically those who are around before all this technology, and they just, you know, they bring their computer to a coffee shop or they do this and do that. They go to, they just put themselves in a position where a hacker is looking to take their data or get access using their, their level of access. So my two companies that I chose were T-Mobile and 23andMe. T-Mobile was a massive one this January, and they hit, they hit them in March, too. So T-Mobile, in between the two attacks, lost, not lost data, but hackers gained access to 37 million customers' data, like just all of their internal data. Nothing too compromising, but just a lot of personal stuff. You know, names, numbers, emails, addresses, and all of that which is pretty serious. And, uh, but that was, they didn't admit why, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, it would have take multiple locations, multiple like corporate people having their, their stuff breached or maybe even, you know, some internal stuff going on there. They didn't admit it, but they're still kind of going through and seeing what exactly they, how they were breached. However, then 23andMe admitted what happened to them uh, a lot of their, uh, a lot of the personal data was gathered, like locations, races, family connections, you know, which is pretty dangerous for certain parts of the world, uh, especially because the person that was posting that data was saying that it was, you know, there's a lot of ties to the Jewish ancestry. So a lot of anti-Semitic stuff could be done with that, which is, you know, very, very scary. Uh, but the, um, and they also had genetic uh, data that was that was accessed, uh, which is extremely scary considering that like insurance companies and uh, other other people can gain really really personal stuff like your medical history, uh, not medical but like genetic medical history as in you know genetic diseases, de defects, maybe some stuff that you know later in life will affect you, which could be pretty serious. Either way. They admitted that their data was hacked through uh, just not safe passwords. They don't require their their you know passwords to be a certain length. They require like all those characters and stuff. Not to a degree that would prevent a lot of that stuff. As well as they admit that a lot of their customers use the same password for their site as other sites. So that that also helped a lot. So basically. While companies have a pretty solid responsibility with firewall security and stuff, there's only so much they can do when their employees have a personal computer or their customers just reuse their passwords. So personal responsibility and the responsibility of their employees, you know, just trainings, enforcement and all that. Yeah, that's how you prevent it. But thank you.